afternoon, this is Jared Rand, and welcome to the mobile guided meditation call for 3 p.m. Saturday, August 25th, 2018. And something for, I think, all of us to view is the present moment, the now, is our gift for today. And it's our gift for every single day we are in the moment. Living in the moment is all we have. In this field of existence this that we're in here, in this construct here on planet Earth. And you can live in peace on, in fact in this world and be at peace is that you basically are just simply surrender to the most relaxed and real part of you remember that your essence is always at ease so your spark your Prime Source Creator God Spark is at ease all the time. And when you can trust that and you're looking for peace, you just simply surrender to the most relaxed and real part of you. And that is your essence, your God Spark. It's having the faith, the belief that you are well taken care of, you will always be well taken care of, and relax in peace. And that's achievable every day. But I've always, you know, practicing living in the now because we have a tendency to wander off into the future, wander off into the past. A lot of the times we are not living in the now. And well, some of us may think that we are, but we're not living in the now. And that is somewhat challenging for some people because you're not in the habit of doing it, living in the now. And if you ever, ever thought about this, is that how many times have you planned something? And you, know, you plan it out, and you do this and do that, do that. It never seems to work the way you want it. It just doesn't happen that way. And, you know, it's like getting in a boat, a canoe, and you see a river, and you say to yourself, I have faith and confidence that the boat's going to take me someplace I've never been before that I can explore. But see, a lot of people would say, well, I've got to bring oars because what happens if this happens and this happens and that happens? And, and this is just a depiction of our stay here in this world uh, with this planet. It's our confidence factor uh, within ourself. So these are different steps of understanding that living in the now is very powerful because it allows you to concentrate on the very moment you're in and it also gives you the opportunity to identify the fact of what you are very grateful for. And since we all have this God spark, this God essence within us, we're all on the same, I, I guess you could call it plane. Uh, no one is counted as lesser than another or that you know that's why so many people in physical form create this uh, guilt and uh, disappointment and undeserving and you know all of these things and remember that you know and this is interesting because I'm sure we've all heard this before is that you know, we, uh, that you will be punished 
if you you know if you did this 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 and you'll be punished for that and you know you know and God's going to come in and uh, destroy and cause all kinds of problems and everything. And when you think about peace and you think about calmness and kindness, and if we are all eternal love, that's what we are. That's what we always will be. So our God spark, our eternal love inside these physical bodies are all forgiving and a direct conduit with creator source with father mother god it's a direct we are a that's a we have a direct let's say a hotline to creator so knowing that and having the confidence that we do have that is a breakthrough for many to understand that how they can become in peace, live in this world in peace, be at peace, and you just kind of float. And if you look at all of the different ways, okay, that have been tried, this world of changing things, proving things, unless it is pure, unadulterated, eternal love seem to have difficulty in progressing in a peaceful way. So, living in the now. I guess you just call this the now meditation because it's so important and it's so empowering. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard that living in the now, in the moment, that type of thing. But and it's another thing of, of for each of us to practice it and to embrace it. Because it's about balance. Like we had the meditation yesterday on balance. You know, all of these things are connected and move, move in one, as one of the energy that we are. So when you're, you know, during the course of a day, it's like, how do you start it? You're always in the moment. You're in the now. Living in the moment. And, you know, some people, I'm sure you've heard this as as well, what are you going to do tomorrow? And people respond by saying, I'm concentrating on living in the now. And... It, you can understand that if you if you wander off into the future, you wander off into the past, you have a tendency to be distracted. And once you get distracted, you're kind of pulled off course. Things become discombobulated, confusing, stressful, anxiety. These things come in, these emotions, physical emotions come in. And it keeps us off track. So, now imagine having and having that knowing, okay, that you are living in the now and that you are living in this world and you're at peace. So it's almost, it's, it's, it's again, it comes to a confidence level where you, you kind of, fold into yourself. It's like I've said, when you have uh, different challenges, you have confidence and you feel secure that prime source creator God, father, mother God, source energy is going to always care for you and take care of you. But see, when we worry and we stress and we fear, we invite it. It's, you know, you can look it up so many different ways and ancient texts and read and you and talk to people you realize that that's pretty much the case we a lot of us really don't realize that we invite these energies and when you research vibration vibrational frequencies 
and you know, and you can look at all of the different factual information on visuals of how it operates. And when you, uh, you know, like just like music, when you play very uh, rough, uh, disturbing music, it lowers the vibrational frequency of life. Period. You play uplifting and beautiful music, it, it increases the energy and the feeling and the attitude of life. And so it's all about what vibration do you want to create for yourself. And, you know, I, I think that when we come to the understanding that we are all one, and that we've been given this image of being separate, but we're separate entities experiencing for all. So everyone is experiencing differently, but for creation, all for creation. And so each of us are on a path, but we, we, we're, we're all on a journey, but we all end up on the same path eventually. So you take a, you have a choice. Do you, do, you, do you want to continually increase your vibrational frequency? And I think most people on this call know how to do that. It's just basically keeping in line with uplifting, positive uh, energies for yourself and others. And contentment and peace and joy because any, everything else that we've tried in this civilization has, has not raised us, has not, we have not risen uh, as a collective civilization. We've pretty much stayed uh, with, the, with the addition of different technologies and that type of thing, stayed pretty much the same place. And I, you know, anybody can come up with all kinds of you know, ideas and experiences and share it with public and, you know, you, you, you use discernment on a lot of information because it's the perspective of usually one individual who uh, had experienced things and shares it, that that's their interpretation, period. And everybody has different interpretations, view things differently. Some things we read uh, affects us. Other times we read things and we just laugh, blow it off. Um, but it all goes back to our frequency and where we hold it, where we raise it. And, and you know, people want to just do nothing and sit and be in a vibrational frequency that's comfort for them, that's fine. Because in this whole process, nobody fails. Nobody fails. Everybody works at a certain uh, pace, certain direction. So nobody fails. We don't have failure. We just progress. Some faster than others. Some slow. It just depends on who we are and how we view ourselves. And everything is inside. And remember that it's all inside. So, in this meditation, if you will, go to where you're not going to be interrupted. And relax. Find a time in your life that you felt the most relaxed and relive it. Or create one for yourself where, you know, for you, is the most relaxing that you can be. And as you relax and you relive this time or create one, you want to breathe and, and breathe through the nose, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And you're happy. You're vibrant and you and you're relaxed and you breathe in 
positive divine energy, that energy saturates you from head to toe. And it, it, it just supercharges you. It's coming from creator, coming from prime source, creator God, father, mother God. And it's coming in each time, each time you breathe in, you hold at 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and you exhale. And things that you think about uh, or sense, and, and, and you don't, you know, they, they, it pulls at you and it causes you to spend, you know, you think too much attention to it. And it really, it, it isn't something that you would enjoy having all the time. Just face it, walk through it, and it'll just disappear. If we sat and we concentrated on all the negative things in our life, day in and day out, it would attract more negative things. That's proven over and over again. It would attract more negative things. As you worry, stress, and fear, and some people decide that that's what they desire to do, and, and that's just the individualism of that person. It's for them. But I choose to live in a vibrational frequency of happiness. So this divine positive energy of bliss and joy and happiness and peace, and prosperity and awareness and clarity is flowing in. And it's saturating and you're absorbing it. And as you breathe in and out three to six times, which you probably have already done, we go to inner heart, heart center. We want to go through the heart center. We want to go as deep as we can. And as we're going deeper and deeper and deeper, we are feeling more and more peace and come to an area of golden white pink light, purple transmuting flame swirling around you and above you. And this energy is eternal love. You can feel it saturating you. And you, you see, you look to your over to, and you see your higher self. You join with your higher self, become one. And we are all in communication with our higher selves. So now what we do is we call in all light beings from the solar system from the galaxy, from the universe, all of love and from love, to join us in this meditation. We call upon the archangels, the cherubim and the seraphim. In fact, all the orders of the angels, all of love and from love. We call upon inner earth and hollow earth to join us. We call upon ascend the ascended masters, call upon the sprites and fairies. We call upon all loved ones who have passed over. It's all of love and from love that join us in this meditation. We feel them float in, join us, hand in hand, arm in arm. Forming a circle, we float up above the planet. We see our meditative sphere. It holds all of our meditations in etherical energy. Uh, golden white pink light, purple transmuting flame, flickering and, and glittering, and holding all of our meditations in perpetual motion since February of this year. And we feel from our crown chakra, we feel this energy come in and start to saturate us. And it brings us this deep level of happiness and peace an ease of being at peace and happiness and a gratitude and appreciation of the very moment right now that we are participating in this meditation. The exuberation that we feel, the regeneration that we feel as we breathe, and it saturates our very existence. It's, a, it, it's just a, a, a very kind and balancing energy 
whereas you are, you so much appreciate the very moment you're in, and it it is, assists you by communicating with your higher self. You are existing and living in the now, this very moment, this very present time, and. You feel this come over and saturate you from head to toe, all the way down to your little toe. And you feel this happening with all of humanity, all the inhabitants of planet Earth, Gaia, inside now. You feel this of all beings throughout the solar system and the galaxy and throughout the universe that are all at peace, at ease, and joyful at living in the now, in the very moment, the very existence of we. I'll join you in the meditation, and I'll be back to close this out.
Nothing. With your your focus of living in the now, another interesting uh, twist is that how often, and this is a, a good measure, and you've probably heard this before, is how you treat others shows others how to treat you. How you treat others shows others how to treat you. So if you're gentle, forgiving, patient with everyone you meet every day, as if they were all children needing love. And only you know how to best love you. Only you know how to best love you. So it's so, it, it's, it's important for all of us, for all of humanity, to practice these things. So, and then eventually envelop them into our everyday lives, living in the now, and moving into a higher vibrational frequency. It's real simple. And treating others as you would treat yourself. Now, obviously, how you treat others shows others how to treat you. And also, how you treat yourself is important because you treat yourself with love and kindness and you feel that, you know, you forgive yourself for any, you know, things that you might uh, do or say uh, that you later say, I shouldn't have said that because it might have hurt the person's feelings and so on and so forth. So once you begin to practice these things, you can understand that none of us have boring moments of our existence. None of our moments are boring. They're always filled with ac activity and energy of us moving ourselves where we desire to be. And the more we connect with, obviously, the God essence, the God energy, the God spark within us, the prime source creator God, father and mother, in these bodies is to become one, to emulate that love and that caring to ourselves and all life, period. So think about that as you go about your afternoon into the evening and you might find yourself embracing it because it, everybody wants to feel good. I don't know, how many people do you know that want to feel horrible and miserable? It's just, that's what they, I want to feel horrible and I want to feel miserable all the time. No, everybody is looking and if they, if they understand how simple it is to do that, boom. So I wish everybody perfect health, perfect prosperity, perfect abundance, great eternal love, peace, kindness, compassion, for the rest of this afternoon, rest into the evening and into tomorrow. And we'll be back here at 3 p.m. Eastern, Sunday. August 26, 2018. And we'll be doing another Time for Change call uh, the August 29th at 9 p.m. on this line. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern uh, this coming Wednesday. And uh, we'll cover more areas. We've got a lot of information to cover. Uh, a lot of people ask questions. Um, and we, we will just keep expanding the knowledge base, bringing as many knowledgeable and experienced people from the audience in to share uh, and to contribute as we progress. 
So wishing you the greatest blessings from Prime Source Creator God and Father Mother God.